It's a stunning place. Yet it provides evidence for one of the greatest catastrophes in the Earth's history. To get a sense of the true scale of what happened here means going deeper still, and that means cave diving. Cave diving is notoriously risky. You see there on the back, that's the gateway to the underground river systems. There's some few crocodiles here and there, and uh, not in this one, of course. It is like 65 meters deep. It goes really deep down there. Bernadette's a professional cave diver and knows this place like the back of her hand. Descending into the depths of the cenote is like entering a new world. Fewer people have visited some of these drowned caverns than have stepped on the surface of the moon. As divers have explored further, they've discovered the cenotes are actually part of a huge complex of tunnels and caves. In fact, when viewed from above, hundreds of cenotes can be seen scattered across the landscape. And it becomes clear that they follow a distinctive circular course through the jungle. They mark out the boundaries of a colossal meteorite impact crater. Sixty-five million years ago, this was the site of one of the most catastrophic impacts in Earth's history. What became known as the Chicxulub meteorite landed here. And that triggered the extinction of the dinosaurs. This meteorite was 15 kilometres across, enough to have caused utter devastation across the whole planet. It exploded with the force of 100 million, million tonnes of TNT. The blast sent a giant plume of vaporised rock out into space. A crater was punched 30 kilometres into the Earth's crust. It was above this rim of weakened rock that the cenotes formed millions of years later. The blast would have been ferocious. 